Come along with Be Outdoors Alaska as we strive to share our tips and suggestions on fishing Seward, Alaska. Today is President's Day. Uh, Brock has school today, so me and Moggy are going to head towards Lowell Point. We are following Brock's school bus towards Seward, and then we're going to continue out to Lowell Point. It is about 8 a.m. this morning, and high tide is at 9. We're a little bit late today, but we're going to get out there and see what we can accomplish. Our goal is to try and catch halibut and cod. It appears we have the beach all to ourselves. It's gonna take a moment to get everything set up, but we're gonna get out there as soon as possible. We are a little bit behind schedule, but the peak of the surf fishing has a tendency to be at high tide or two to three hours after that. It's got a light on it. This morning, we're setting up our poles with 10 ounce pyramid weight. We're also using size 10 aught big river hooks tipped with squid and herring. We are also adding a flasher for an attraction. No, I seen it. I'll have to break it or something, huh, for now? One of the reasons we use squid is because the cod and the halibut have a tendency to strip the herring off fairly quick. The squid has a tendency to stay on the hook for a longer period of time, allowing us more opportunities to set the hook. You'll find videos on our tips and suggestions in our channel lineup. One of the things that we do different is we use big river hooks so we can set the hook. We don't have to wait for the fish to set the hook like you would do with a circle hook. One of the things you'll notice in this video about Seward, Alaska is that the weather can change on a dime. We go from snow to rain to windy, cold. It will warm up. It's all just a matter of time and it will change. Yeah. Well, we're catching ca gray cod lately. We have caught halibut, but I think we're just long time of the year for those. I think they're deeper. Right now. But we take the drone. One of the questions that we receive a lot are, do you have to have a drone to go fish? Absolutely not. When we first started, we didn't have a drone. And then we bought a cheap drone and it ended up dropping into the ocean and was destroyed. So we've done a lot of our fishing without a drone. Um, we actually have a video on how to set it up so you can cast maximum, but you can catch them from shore without a drone. And it's a lot easier in the summertime though. There's a couple of things about this drone that I think are fantastic. One, if it's raining or snowing, the drone is waterproof. You can literally land it in the ocean and it will flip itself back up and take off. Also, it has an electronic bait drop, so okay. you can put it exactly where you would like. Right there. Boom. Here you go. Another awesome thing about this drone is that it has a 4K camera set up on a three-way gimbal, so it'll keep our shots nice and steady. <laughs> As you can hear, today is a very windy day. It was messing with our mics all day long. Mm -hmm. One of the other things about this drone that I think are fantastic as well is that it can handle 47 mile an hour wind and it won't bother it. 
The drone can also fly at least a mile, Whoa. so your limit to how far out is how much line you can carry. We have lost a whole setup before when we flew it to the end and it broke the line off. Right to the edge. That was close. That was extremely close. I hit the end of the line. We have 200 meters on here, exactly. I have a code in there if you need it. It's 837. We're pretty close to high tide. We probably could have got closer, but I didn't want to have to move on that set, you know. You want your chair? Huh? Oh, wow. One of the things that also affects your where to drop your line is how far away from shore. The farther you are, the deeper it is, the more it's going to try and move your line from one side to the other. There's a knife. It seems like the colder and darker it is, the more issues we have and the harder it is to keep on top of everything. You get one? That's all right. You're good, babe. Be ready for it. I put your chip down low as you can. So when you go to set it, you got as much range as you can. Another tip we've learned is that braided line is easier to set the hook. That was a quick bite. Traditional line has a tendency to stretch when you go to set the hook. I did and I was digging. Was it a good hit? You holding the line with your hands so you can feel it? Today's shooting video was a little difficult. It was knocking our tripods over and ruining our sound. If she hasn't got a bite within about 20 minutes, we're going to go ahead and pull her line in and check her bait. She definitely had a bite. Today is a typical Seward day. Not everything is as simple as it would be in other places. We have the beach all to ourselves. Oh, that was a small bite. Be ready. That was a quick, sharp little bite. Just give it a... It's playing with it right now. I can see it. Long legs. It's there. Keep going. You feel it shaking? That's a good thing. You got it, lover. Take this. Oh, God. My back's not happy. When you get a little closer, I'll... Trying real more. There's definitely something there. I feel a, sh a head shake. Uh -huh. I'm hoping that's it. But I feel a head shaking. I hope it's not a shark. Your pole's on fire. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. Either running at us or just came off. No. You lost it. Are we real? Start backing up with it. <laughs> Looks like it's a decent fish. We've been here a half hour. This is a second bite. Keep going. Oh. Good size cock. Is he eating another fish? Oh, they're eating lots of fish. Look at that. This thing's full of fish. Good job, sweetie. All right, did you get it? Yeah, mama's on fire. 
I had fights, but I keep missing, but your mom's gone. Yep. You can put it down there and hold it. Keep going though. Put it down. And then just hold it a little bit. There you go, that's a big one. That's a fish, all right, baby. We've been here not even an hour, have we? Huh? You got the magic pole. I get bikes, but I can't get them to hook. I'm starting to wonder if I need the spider wire. I'm thinking the mono is stretching so much harder to see if it that far. Getting a little windy out here, huh? You get in there. Oh, here it comes. You gotta run backwards, run backwards. Unfortunately, today with the uh, distance that I was fishing, the monofilament made the line stretch a bit. So every time it would hit, we were not able to detect it. I actually brought it in to check the line, and there was a fish on it. The wind makes it hard to understand, but my wife says, See this beautiful weather that we're fishing in? It's misting on us right now. So we've got two gray cod and one. Open and let's open it down. You want to remake? Who was who was wrong? You. <laughs> you thought ahead. Here, this is what came out of Mom's fish. I am pretty sure that's a Harry. A little bit. Right now, I'm commenting on what a beautiful day President's Day is here in Seward, Alaska. As she can see her hits way better than I can see. Her. Baby. It is so much easier to see the strikes on her pole than it is on mine. Cod or halibut? Go scoping. I'm on fire. I really believe that spider wire makes it. I see bites, I just can't get them to hook. The line stretches. It's biting. Stop. It's coming. No, please tell me it didn't walk you right into that wall. If the fish go oh my to our left a little bit, there is a wall of seaweed that they get into and they're kind of difficult to get them through there. You can feel this fish biting, but you can also feel it dragging through it. It's a really pretty good sized fish. Um, the end result is not what we wanted, but uh, it definitely put up a good fight. Yeah. This was a pretty good sized fish. Um, you could tell it was being dragged through fields like seaweed. And in the end, the line gives out near the hook. And so we ended up losing it. But um, maybe next time we'll get a good look at it. I don't know, it was huge, whatever it was.
We quickly replaced the hooks and rebaited her line and sent it back out. The bite was on and this was a perfect time of day. Again, we were within two hours of high tide. It is receding at the moment. Yeah, mama is on fire. Oh, you did. Hang on for a second then. It is definitely windy, rainy, and chilly. We have had five fish. Mom just lost a good one. And it is, let's see what time it is. 11, 9, 10, 11. So it's been two hours. We'll try to get one more bite. We usually fish two hours before two hours after. Right now it's been just about three hours, not quite three. I'd love to take the drone out and get some video, but I think it's too windy for the little drone. Man, she gets bites pretty fast. You're usually getting bites within like, what, five, 10 minutes? It's pretty quick. Well, it's about time. We have definitely had opportunity to catch some fish. I would use the DJI Mini Pro right now, but with the rain and the wind, it's not capable of putting up with that, and we would end up ruining the drone. So we didn't get any at this point. You can tell the water's going out. You can see where it looks at. We are definitely on the outside of the moment. Hi, baby. My finger is so cold I couldn't get it to record. I thought I was recording you. If you're thinking about doing some surf fishing, go to our YouTube channel and check out our Alaska surf fishing setup. It will go through all the steps of getting set up so you can cast as far as possible. Cool! A cod! Good job. Another video that may be of interest is underwater halibut caught in video in Seward, Alaska. If you've ever thought about using a drone to go fishing, one of our other videos is surf fishing in Seward, Alaska, how to reach farther with a drone. If these videos have piqued your interest in purchasing your own drone, we have a link in the description for the exact drones we use. If you go in through that link and sign up, you will receive 5% discount on the purchase of any of the items in there. If you are interested in surf fishing, Go ahead and check out our YouTube channel. There are several videos in there that will talk about all the different ways of fishing from shore for halibut and cod. From catching cook to how to set up your bait and what to use. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we will see you on the next video.